So I thought I'd give you guys a bit of a tour of the, the outrigger canoe, double outrigger canoe. Uh, now that I'm here, I look quite a little beach, nice spot in the, the Hawkesbury River, just north of Sydney, Australia. So let's, uh, let's crack on. So her name's Maya Moku. She's uh, a Gary Deer King, I think I'm saying that right. <laughs> Gary Deer King, uh, Wa Upper 16 footer. Now he's got plans for the Wa Upper, the Tamanu, I think it's called, the Uluwa, and um, the Ba'a Motu. Uh, and this one's, it's a one piece hold. The plans uh, give you instructions on building it so the the 16 foot pole is two 8 foot sections but I don't need to do that so I just build it in, in one, one hole she's around 11 feet wide um, built from 3 millimeter plywood from Bunnings Hardware Store here in Australia um, pretty much the standard as per Gary's design a couple little things that are different are the rudder here Sorry, I had to stop the video. I had a had a boat go past. Get some serious weight coming through. Got a bit too noisy. So yeah, so the rudder's a bit different from what Gary uh, describes in his plans. This one, it's it's a, like a hybrid Michael Store cassette slash CLC boats. You know, kick up rudder with a nice piece of hardware there to you know, lock it in position. Uh, made from, from hardwood, of course. Shaped, pretty nice shape to it as well. Spent a bit of time getting that right. Um, and, you know, nice and simple tiller extension here with a, that's a bungee in here. So you can see there's a knot there and then a knot underneath, really simple. Uh, what Gary doesn't say in the plans is this aft seat here. But I find it's super comfortable, uh, and particularly when you're sailing downwind, you know, sitting in the stern, you know, tiller right there in your left hand, sheet in the right hand. It's just, you know, it's champagne sailing, isn't it? Really. You know, and also what it means is you get a better view too. If you're sitting out on the hiking decks on the side here, you know, you're, you're kind of limited in your view. If you sit down a bit lower, you get to see more about what's going on. Yeah, so Gary doesn't prescribe in the plans uh, a big 89 square foot lug sail. Uh, his plans call for, I think it's only like 50 square foot. So this is nearly double. But I think the boat can handle it, I tell you. You know, particularly the doubled outrigger, when you've got the safety of, of two outriggers, it's worthwhile doing. You know, and this is a, a Michael Store, really simple sails uh, lug sail, ordered from um, duck, duck works, boat builder supply in the US, shipped over here to Australia, uh, and does the job, you know, and, and being a, 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 a lug sail, got to have that downhaul, and it's going to be tight too, so, you know, lots of tension on here, that's a three to one, down to, down to a cleat here, and that ties off there, on starboard side we've got the halyard, and then below that, I've got an additional block which I'll, I'll be using uh, for lazy jacks when I get them installed. That way I can drop the sail and paddle without having the without having the boom dunk me in the head. Awesome. But yeah, it's a pretty standard. You know, this, this is a the top panel here is actually old door skins. You know, from an actual door that I took apart. The nice hardwood. Uh, it's three mil again fiberglass it but before I glassed it I cut this out um, from, a, from a bit of paper I designed it online um, printed it out at home put it underneath the fiberglass and then fiberglass over the top it looks pretty cool you know and I, I like that you can you can kind of see the grain through there a bit of the fiberglass it, it looks it looks super old, old school like you know this is this was built in Hawaii in you know the 50s or something this is how the anchor goes that's super tight. I mean, you, you can't even shake that around, but you pull it straight out. It's got a couple of little retainers in here where the, the cross arm of the anchor sits in, and it just stays there. And I got my, my chain down here, 
I'm going to get a bit of you this way. Chains down there, resting on a bit of... Chains down there, resting on a bit of blue matting. And there's my anchor road. All ready to go. I've also got a stern line too, in case I need it. You just see that there. Stern line, actually two spare lines. So, you know, you never know when you're gonna need a couple of, a couple of extra lines. So that's the boat. Here I am at, uh, at Hungry Beach in, uh, in the Pittwater, Hawkesbury River, Australia. Uh, got the whole beach to myself. Just made a coffee. Had to cook up some pork chops. Uh, yeah, so life's good. See you guys soon.